Eric, it's great to see you. Welcome in. Uh, I feel like you've been getting a lot of media attention lately. How are you handling that? How's uh, preseason been for you so far? It's been great so far. Uh, I feel like the team's doing really well. I feel like I'm going to adjust you. Yeah, oh, adjust me. Going. Is it better? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's a lot better. That's now you can the hear me. voice is yeah, so good. Yeah, I know. So crisp, okay, okay. yeah. No, but the team's coming together right now. We're playing really well. I think Donnie has us really committing to... Uh, a little bit more details, and it's doing a really good job for us. You said something, I believe it's yesterday, you feel night and day different than last year in training camp. How come? I think I was talking about earlier today, actually, too, is just the, um, uh, I think I put a little bit of pressure on myself last year to come in there. I got a new contract. I was like, okay, I've always been the kind of guy that battling for the position, never really ever given a position before. It's a whole different mindset, so I kind of went in there going, okay, I got to hold this position, I got to hold it. And the anxiety kind of built. I put a lot of pressure on myself to go out there and do really well early. And I think this year I'm just coming in with the same old mindset that I've had my whole career, just going out there and be myself every single day, yeah. enjoy it, and just kind of play it and let everything take care of itself. And I think that's uh, it's been kind of a big adjustment for me, but a really good thing for me right now. What, um, what have you noticed on ice behind the group of players, which is, of course, dramatically different night in, night out in the preseason? But you've already mentioned the coaching staff, so I'm curious what little nuances and things you might be seeing from the group in front of you. I mean, first of all, I think that our management here has done an unbelievable job of acquiring assets because you see every single night, doesn't matter who we go. We went to Pittsburgh last night, and we kind of had a younger roster against their full team, and we put a great performance up last night. I mean, mm -hmm. that's just a testament to the amount of talent and the amount of young guys we have in this uh, organization. It's a, something to be very proud of, and I'm really happy to be part of that because, I mean, the way they can evaluate and seek talent here is special because, I mean, it doesn't matter who we have in our lineup. It's, we have a talented, talented roster, and I think Donnie's done a really good job of just making sure that we're sticking to the details. Everything is correct. Um, like we talked about last, like a lot about, it's not about we defended poorly last year. He said it's just sometimes our details weren't always, in the sh uh, weren't always sharpest, and I think right now he's doing a really good job of just making sure that we're sharp on the details and really strict and just making sure everything is correct. Um, so last year you discussed, like, I felt like you played really well early and then the injury, and it was kind of a, trying to catch up in a perfect storm of all of that. First of all, physically, how are you feeling? And two, like, you talked about the mindset different from last year to this year, but is there anything specific that you prepared this summer, like, um, you know, your, your technique or your, your, your certain plays that you worked on this summer to make sure that you were at your best? Uh, I mean, I did a lot more goalie skates this summer, which definitely helped, I thought, a lot. I mean, last year, I think the year before, it was we didn't have a ton of ice, so we couldn't do as many goalie-specific skates, mm -hmm. so I was doing more, like, player skates. So this summer, I really so made... So you were a target? You're I was like a, a target. Shooter, yeah, yeah, shooter, 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 shooter. Exactly. So this summer, I was like... <laughs> Man, did I hate those days. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so this summer, I'm like, no, I need to have at least once a week, and then five, Then I'd have my goalie coach flying from Kelowna, and we'd do five days a week, five straight ice sessions, and okay. just goalie sessions. Then at least once or twice a week, I'd have just straight goalie work, where I'd go on the ice, making sure my technique was solid, okay. making sure my foundation was correct, making sure that everything I did was positionally sound. And it, was, it kind of made a big difference for me, because I was like, went from just like, not just like all scrambly stuff, to more like just like technical, okay, this is what we're going to do here, this is what we're going to do here, and it kind of quieted my mind a little bit. And... My, my worked out as hard as I could of the summer. I mean, I did a really good job in the gym this year. I think my, I mean, my explosiveness is a lot better. My strength is a lot better. And I grew my hair a little bit, too, so that changed yeah, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, did it, did it, did it, I was going to say, it won't affect your body fat, but, yeah. you know, we talked to Alex Stock. Actually, I talked to Alex Stock. He was filling in for Duffer <laughs> that day. He said he came by the in. Way, as, by the way, he would do a great job. He can talk for days. Oh, yeah. Exactly. yeah. He did a great Says job. Says this guy. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. I can talk for days, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he said he came in at, like, 6.8 body fat, like he'd never been that lean. And I said it's because he tipped a... The, the medical guys exactly. a lot last year. Exactly. Um, how did that, like, work out? Did you put on weight? Did you trim I, yeah. out? How no, did that work out? I put on a lot of weight for sure. I put on, I think I came in seven pounds heavier. So okay. that's kind of what I wanted to do. Muscle, I feel, muscle. Muscle, yeah, yeah, yes, muscle, okay. muscle. I didn't quite tip him as much as Tucky, apparently, for the body fat percentage. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it still it wasn't six point. It wasn't six point eight, but it was good enough. It wasn't quite. I didn't. I guess I got to tip him a little more next year. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I find out how much he gave him. And, well, definitely got to <laughs> find oh, out. Yeah, oh exactly. Uh, where was the training? Irvine. Yeah, all in Irvine. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Did you yeah. see Ryan Johnson out there? I ski with RJ all the time. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. the best. He's yeah. the. He's the how, what have you seen from Yanni. him? No, Yanni. Yes, Yanni remember. is his nickname. Now, well, RJ, Yanni, R C, whatever. I call yeah. him RJ. And so does Don Granado, yeah, too. See, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. See, I didn't even know that. I just call him RJ from uh, California. That's where everyone calls him California. Oh, okay. Because, see, 
his dad actually runs a lot of the skates, so you can't Johnny because it's kind of confusing. So you exactly. got CJ and RJ now, so that's, oh, okay. that's so, kind of yeah. how it Johnny goes. Johnny Yanni doesn't so, work. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably nothing surprises you with him, no. but he's been really good, has he's, he not? Like, I mean, I, I, I mean, I've been trying to like, yeah. we like push him into the conversation every time we're yeah, oh, yeah. we're recapping a game, and I just think there's such a calmness yeah. and I don't know a poise so, to his game. You see it every single day in the summer, though. But you, you don't just see that, but you see the work. Ethic. You see mm-hmm. he's the first one out there in the skates with it, working with his dad and just doing certain specific D drills, making sure he gets those in. Then he's going right to the gym after, working out extremely hard after with a very good trainer down in California. And then he's staying out later. Like, he's skating as much as he possibly can. Wow. He's very committed to his craft. And he, I, don't, I don't know if you've had a chance to talk to the guy, but he is just one of the best, nicest human beings you'll ever meet. Yeah, Marty, had, Marty had yeah, a great chat with him last week. He was a duffer yeah. fill-in lad. Yeah, yeah. That duffer <laughs> was under the weather, and that's perfect. So. The only thing is, he's not quite as much as a talker as Tucky or myself. So he's might not, have been, but he, he was pretty good. He was pretty I, I good. Yeah. He was really good. Yeah. Yeah. But Marty can cart- carry conversation. You I, can, I did my best, but I was <laughs> stressed. I was really stressed. The anxiety to try to like fill in all that airtime. Um, but he was great. But you want to do show and tell well, now? Couple we things. Okay. So that's where we learned about Yanni. Yanni. His, his nickname was on that card that you guys all carried the first yeah, day yeah. training Yeah, I didn't camp. know that. So for a lot of people, we found out about something new for you, too, yes. is that your wife got pregnant and yep. you guys are expecting. Expecting, yeah. In a few weeks now. It's, it's no, getting close. November 16th, so we're right okay. away here. We're, we're very excited. Congratulations. We're, we're a little bit nervous. Yes. Yeah, and... The baby girl, so that's a little bit scary too. So we're not quite. Sure, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Well, first here. We have five daughters. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to yeah. So we need a little experience here, a little bit of uh, pep talk for that. But we're really excited. I mean, every single day we got a new Amazon package coming to the door. I'm like, oh, I guess we need diapers. Oh, I guess we need this. Oh, I guess. all I know is I think the Amazon driver knows us by name now. Oh, yeah. 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 Good. That's good. good. That's yeah. good. And then we have show and tell here on Sabres Live, and if you're listening on WGR, then go back, because we'll clip it, put it on social media, but Duffer's been doing some cleaning of his, like, hockey memorabilia and his box of papers and whatever, and so my NHL draft was the first year that Duffer worked at a draft. He was working in Edmonton at the time. Mm -hmm. So he came up this morning and brought the Edmonton Journal, Daily Journal, is that what it is? Yeah, Edmonton Journal. Edmonton Journal from Sunday, July 9th, 1995. The draft was on July 8th. Um, you were born on the 6th. The 6th, yeah. Three days before I was drafted, you were born. In Edmonton. So I was in Edmonton. Edmonton. I was being born and you were probably partying Edmonton. We don't I- have the birth <laughs> announcement because that's the sports paper. Yeah. But at some point in there, it would say... On July 6th, was born a seven pounds, two ounces. Yeah, how, how, what was your weight? I, I wasn't that big, actually. You Which put you, on seven pounds this year. I think that's a baby yeah, weight. Yeah, but <laughs> so it's funny because I wasn't that big. My wife was born bigger, but now our baby is like apparently massive. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, I mean, like massive. So I'm like, oh, this is going to be a big baby. So she's a little scared right now. Yeah. So, uh, so this is kind of funny because we were reading this article how the Edmonton Oilers picked Steve Kelly as their number one pick. Mm-hmm. But they passed on local product Shane Doan, Ooh. who was drafted later that by the Winnipeg the Jets. That was <laughs> a big story. That's... That was also the year that Alex, Alex McGillie was traded to Vancouver. Oh, yep. Michael Pekka. Yep. Mike Wilson and a first-round pick came to Buffalo. So how long were you in Edmonton? I was there for 10 years. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And my brother played there, I mean, almost the yeah. whole time oh, I was yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, was, he, was, uh, he was a pretty good player there. He was a yes, really was. good player. Yeah. Actually, I played Speaking with a lot of, of McGillney those. McGillney and the number. Yeah, 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 yeah. 89. Not, yeah. not many. I mean, how many guys have worn that number? I mean, Tucky, McGillney. There's yeah, that's, a lot that's, of them. that's it. No, I think. That's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. But I remember playing with your brother at the World Championship and Steve Steos, who was just announced as president of Hockey Op with the Ottawa Senators, yeah. Ryan Smith. A lot of Edmonton Oilers got to play in the World Championship wow. because they yes. didn't make the playoffs, but they were good yeah. players. So. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I mean, Mike's a pretty fun guy to hang around in. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we had a good time. <laughs> I would uh, like to hear some of those stories. Yes, I, I had a good time. And then years later, I ran into your brother Mike, at the urinal in, at the time, Staples Center between the Rangers oh, and no. the LA Kings oh, finals. No. I was working in HL Network, and the bathroom in the rank was the closest. I'm there. I look over, and there's your brother, Mike, that's oh, standing right no. next to me. Yeah. I'm like, we hadn't seen each other in maybe like six, seven years. How was he doing that? How was he looking? He was looking really good. Looking lean, eh? He was there, he was there with uh, his then... Um, wife who you know hillary or you yeah hillary know, yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah they were there for the game and 
Um, so it was kind of funny. I walked back into the van with all with Kevin Weeks and those guys. I'm like, guys, I just ran into my comedy in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, there's uh, MC's got some stories. I'm sure that oh, you could yeah. you could tell you could share. Oh, it was he, but what a player! Oh, he's a good player. He's I mean, does he go on the ice with you? Sometimes? Not his hips aren't very good. He plays uh, a lot, he plays a lot of tennis now though, and you should see because really? you know how good his hands yeah. were. You should see how good his hands are at the net. It's unbelievable. Oh, wow, good I mean, doubles partner. Oh, can't great, move great much, doubles but partner. Like, great great doubles partner. But you should, I mean, some of his hands, his moves were unbelievable. Like his around the world. Like I don't know if you ever seen some of his goals. I mean, against when he was in the Islanders, around the world was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. was he was insane. part of the famous Ottawa brawl. He yeah, was, yeah, he, he was, was there. Yeah, he was, was on the ice. He was there. Yeah, with Jason Spezza. Yep. Uh, and Danny Heatley he when was the there. thing went down. Adam Mayer. Yeah. He was like, I got you, I got <laughs> yeah. you, and I got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, awesome. though, you would you'd be surprised by his stature. He's not a big guy, but he mm -hmm. had put up a few fights in the NHL. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He fought a lot more than you he's think. A he was bulldog. He yeah. was strong. Like yeah. he's, yeah. I mean, he's a, he's a tough little bugger. I'll tell you that. I don't. Yeah. I, just, I was. You don't want to take. You wouldn't. We, one summer we did have a little boxing competition. Let's just put it this way: I didn't last very long against MC. <laughs> I was, I re they rang the bell pretty early. <laughs> oh gosh, that's awesome! Hey, great stopping by. Thank you. Continued success here in camp, and we'll see you soon. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.